Hello Aries, this is Mystic Goddess with your general reading. Okay, so today we're going to tap into the energy of what's coming toward you for October 19th through October 25th of 2020. Now, cross watchers, do keep in mind that the energies can be reversed, so feel free to switch the energies around as needed. Also, if you haven't subscribed to the Mystic Goddess channel as of yet, make sure that you subscribe. I'd love to have you as a part of the Mystic family. Okay, so Aries, I've meditated over the energy and I've shuffled the deck, so let's go ahead and get started. Now, the overall energy of what's coming toward you, Aries, is temperance and we also have confusion, okay? So, there's someone that's going to try to cause some kind of confusion toward you, okay? Or they're going to try to cause you to be confused. Spirit is saying it's important for you to remain balanced in this situation. I feel as though you guys have been trying to be balanced. You haven't been um, giving more to any type of situation than you need to. And also, I feel as though Spirit is saying... That when it comes to this person, to make sure you temperance yourself as far as your anger, okay? This situation may bring about some type of, some type of emotional um, imbalance. Someone may be trying to make you emotionally imbalanced. But Spirit is saying that everything is happening the way it's supposed is supposed to make sure that you don't give this person too much of your energy and it's important for you to not let anything or anyone cause you to get out of character continue to remain balanced okay so let's see exactly what this energy is about let's go a little deeper we have gratitude grief bittersweet passion Completion, forgiveness, and at the bottom of the deck, we have trickery. Okay, so there's definitely someone that's going to try to cause confusion for you. And this person will be trying to trick you, okay? This person is going to try to make you think that um, everything's good when in reality, they're being deceptive. Now, I do feel as though Spirit is saying with this gratitude card to make sure that you remain thankful in regards to your life in general, okay? I do feel as though there is abundance coming toward you guys or there's something that's growing for you. And Spirit is saying to make sure that you get give thanks to God or give thanks to the Most High ahead of time, okay? Now, this person may be coming back into your life also to tell you how thankful they are for you, that they want to be there for you. OK, whoever this is, I feel as though um, this person is grieving in regards to some type of ending that they had. OK, now you guys may also be in this energy for this week where you're really in your feelings about some type of an ending. I feel as though it's something that's bittersweet. You know that it's something that's past due to happen. But at the same time, I see you really reminiscing about the good times and the bad. Spirit is saying that when it comes to this person, it's important to show forgiveness, you know, forgive that person for what they did to you. Some of you already have. For others of you, you may need to do that. But this person is going to be coming back toward you with a lot of passion. OK, they're going to be showing passion for you. And I feel as though it's because they're trying to get closer to you. OK, so whoever things ended with or whoever things are ending with. It's something that um, it's a relationship that was very passionate or you had a lot of passion for this person. OK, spirits also saying to forgive yourself because in regards to this ending, it's something that needed to happen. OK, this person has a way of keeping you confused, making you feel trapped. OK. And like I said, they're showing a lot of trickery. So spirit is saying that you need to release this person in order to grow and to make sure that you have faith because it's a part of your destiny. Okay. It's a part of your destiny. You were meant to meet this person, but at the same time, releasing this person is going to put you in the place that God intends for you to be. Okay. So remember, it's important to stay balanced. You have balance here twice. So make sure you temper your temperance yourself. Don't let anyone get you out of balance. Okay. 
Okay, so yeah, there's someone that you're having an ending with or that you had an ending with that's going to be coming back around trying to cause you confusion. Some of you may even be confused and wondering if you made the right choice or if you're making the right choice and spirit is saying that you are. Okay. All right, so let's go a little deeper. We have the Ten of Pentacles, the Five of Cups, Judgment, the Fool, the Knight of Wands, and the Nine of Pentacles. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Cups, okay? So someone definitely is wanting to reconcile with you. Someone's wanting to come back together um and fix things okay or at least that's what they're going to try to make it seem like okay now this is someone that you i feel as though you were involved with for a while this is someone you thought that you would be long term with i feel as though you provided stability for this person okay but regardless this person from your past is starting to regret how they treated you they're thinking a lot about the past for some of you you may be thinking a lot about the past you may even be thinking about all the time that you put in with this person. But Spirit is saying it's time to make judgment. It's time to take action. You do need to become independent or single from this person. I feel as though with this energy, Spirit is saying that you will actually gain more. Okay, you will be fine or you will be good on your own. Because whoever you're dealing with, this person is starting to regret being a player. Okay, they're starting to regret not giving you stability or not giving you all of themselves. Whoever this person is, I feel as though they were a player. I also feel as though this person was very hot and cold toward you. This is not someone you can depend on. I feel as though everything was on your back, that you may have had to take care of yourself and you had to provide stability for this person because they're very immature, okay? So when it comes to this new start, Spirit is saying, you, Aries, you need to make sure that you walk by faith and not by sight. Make sure that you trust in the decisions that you're making because it is the right choice. You, With this Knight of Wands energy, things won't go anywhere with this person, okay? You have a lot of stability headed your way, but in order to receive that, you have to walk by faith and not by sight, okay? You'll be good, even better without this person, okay? But they, they're going to be coming back around, okay, if they haven't already. And it's because they're regretting how they treated you. But also make sure that you don't get stuck in the past to the point where they confuse you about moving forward because that is the best thing for you to do, okay? So, yeah, they're going to want to reconcile. But the thing about it is you can't trust this person. OK, you can't trust them. This is someone that's very disloyal. They're dishonest. OK, you can't trust this type of energy. So they're wanting a new opportunity with you, but it's a deceptive opportunity. This is someone that is basically like they want a new start, but it's for their own good. It's not. Where they're thinking, okay, well, we, me and you, we can be good together. We can, we, it's not about we in this situation. It's about themselves, okay? So spirit is saying to make sure that you stay strong and hold back, tame yourself when it comes to this person, okay? Because you are, you guys already see the truth in regards to the situation. Also, when it comes to this person, make sure that, you know, you remain clear in your communication, remain clear and also use discernment because their communication to you is not going to be honest. OK, spirit is saying to make sure that you do withdraw your energy. Don't give this person a lot of your energy because they're just trying to bring drama to you. OK, but like I said, I feel as though you're going to see through it. You're going to see through it. You guys already have the truth when it comes to this person. Okay. You know the truth. Um, some of you may decide to at least listen to what this person has to say. But remember, they're going to be trying to bring you some type of drama or cause you to feel conflicted when it comes to the choice that you have made or that you are making. So spirit is saying it would be good for you to isolate yourself and to go within. Okay. You need to persevere, persevere and stand up for yourself. Okay. Stand on what you 
what stand on whatever decision you made since you guys have decided to move forward spirit is saying to continue fight for your for your new start OK, because when it comes to this person, they're still holding secrets. And when it comes to getting back together with them, it would be a disaster because it's something that would be built on an unstable foundation. OK, this person is trying to get back with you for their own good. They also have some type of ego about themselves when it comes to getting back together. They really think that they can get you back. They feel as though, hey, you know, I they're not going. Aries isn't going anywhere. That's how they're thinking. OK, but spirit is saying continue to move forward. There's a lot of victory coming up for you guys and move forward when it comes to this ending, because this person is just going to cause you burdens. You need to release the burden. They're going to be telling you all type of half truths. OK, and at the same time, remember, destiny is at play here. Things need to move forward. You don't need to move backward in this cycle, because I feel as though you guys have learned your lesson. OK, you're, you've learned your lesson in regards to this person. So there's good things coming toward you. And for some of you, you actually have someone coming into your life that's really going to love you. OK, they're really going to love you. Someone that would be a good family person, someone that would be good for you to have a family with. So some of you have a king of cups energy coming toward you or this person will have water in their chart. But it's going to be someone that's very good for you and someone genuine in their emotions, okay? Because this other person is holding you back from this the, this good karma that you have coming toward you. They're trying to keep you on a hamster wheel and they're watching, okay? They're watching. They are watching you. Also, this person may be trying to gather some information about you or something of that nature. Some of you may get some information in regards to this person that's going to cause you to move forward. OK, but yeah, this is someone that's just regretting things. They regret things because they they're realizing now how much stability you provided to them. And so it's all about themselves. It's not about you at all. OK, so let's get you some advice, Aries, when it comes to this person. Spirit, give me advice for Aries when it comes to this person. Give me advice for Aries, Spirit. You don't miss your water until your well runs dry. And that's the energy I'm getting off of this. Somebody realized they messed up, that they messed up a good thing. But Aries, you need to continue to move forward, okay? All right, so let's see. Spirit, what? Oh, that came out fast. Okay, so the five of wands is here. So spirit is saying to avoid conflict, okay? Don't get involved in drama when it comes to this person. Remember with this temperance here, it's important for you to remain balanced because this person, they're going to try to cause you to fight with them. This person's looking for an argument or looking for a fight. They're trying to get some type of reaction. So it's important for you to temperance yourself and don't give this person what they want. Because at the end of the day, this is someone that cannot be trusted. Okay? They can't be trusted. They're disloyal, dishonest, and they'll do anything to get their way with you. Okay? They'll do anything when it comes to coming back together with you. For some of you, they still even have a third party. OK, they're all about themselves. They're all about themselves. And at the same time, spirit is telling you to focus on yourself because this person is only going to break your heart. They're going to betray you again. So it's important for you to hold back and to remain strong when it comes to this breakup, because if the two of you were to get back together, it's going to be a disaster and it's going to fail. So look toward the future because there's another relationship in store for you. For some of you, it might even be um, a Taurus. OK. All right, so Aries, that is your reading. If you guys resonate with this, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I'd love to have you as a part of the Mystic family. And definitely hit that notification bell so that you will receive an alert whenever I post messages from Spirit to you. I love each and every one of you guys so much. You take care. Be safe. Until next time. Bye.